morning guys welcome to lowdown transporters tv in this episode we're going to be checking out my van this is a thing i've wanted to do for quite a while now um, do some van features one-on-one -on -one with the owners uh, making a 10 minute video on youtube uh, going around some of the lowdown vans i was meant to do it about two years ago when i bought all this equipment but never got around to it i was going to smash it hard this year but obviously with lockdown um, we're all on standstill so now it's eased locked down a little bit and we're allowed out for a little bit of exercise. I thought I would show you around the lowdown ship pods. Let's take a look. sat on a full Raven hydraulic suspension system um, with chassis notch on the front, steering arm notch. I've actually got modified the subframe to allow the arms to go up a bit further. Um, there's a few notches and bits on the back and a little bit's ground out the way just to get it down. The subframe sits on the floor at the moment so I'm, I'm happy with where it's sitting but next would be subframe, um, subframe raise to get it a little bit lower. It is tub front and back as well. They're only small but it, I've got about another inch I could go which I think it look look real nice there um, we've got Weller smooth steels which they hooked me up with which was awesome cheers Alan for those there they are they're seven seventeens um, seven and a half inch on the front eight and a half on the back with the ET set right in on the front to kind of give it that narrowed look so if I get over here I think it gives it a nice kind of retro stance a bit like the narrowed the narrow beams on the old bays and splits. Engine wise, I'm running a 1.9 TDI out of a Golf um, over the factory 2.4D it came with. Um, it was just sluggish and with this interior, which I'll show you in a minute, it, it just didn't go anywhere and it kept blowing head gaskets. Now with this, I've got uprated injectors. Um, it's chipped. I've got the EGR delete uh, PD130 manifold. It's got a few bits on it. It's about 130 brake now. And do you know what I mean? it pulls the van lovely now. It's really nice. Um, just a little screen washer bottle there. I'm halfway through tidying this engine bay up. Next job is to pull the engine out and spray it all the same colour as the van, uh, which I think will make it look a bit nicer. Because at the moment, it's just you can see bits of overspray where I've painted it, and it's just it's not too nice. But I don't really want the bonnet up at shows anyway. This is more for more for me. Moving on to the inside, we've got a full Sapili hardwood floor and a U-shaped bench seat in the back. Chesterfield style. Me and my mate James did this after watching one YouTube video on how to do it. And I tell you what, it is the hardest thing. It's come out okay for doing two idiots and a big needle and some fabric, but I would like to get it redone in the future. The two side pods click in the middle to make about a four foot long bed. And it's plenty long enough for me on my own. But if we've got the, taking the whole family away, you can pull this bit out here and you can put an extension on there so the bed gets a bit longer. And then the only other thing really in here is the cabinet. I built this out of some MDF um, and I just wanted to hide all the usual the usual camping stuff um, and just go a bit different to everyone else really. So you've got your cutlery in the top one and all your clothes storage in the bottom. And then if you open this one, you got a little camping stove there which is just a camping stove drilled for a dog bowl makes a great little great little cooker we've cooked bacon on it before but it's great just for a kettle in the morning to be honest i like cooking outside the van so it doesn't smell moving on to the top my mate dan cnc cut this um and made all the mechanisms for it and it's absolutely awesome i made it myself a few years ago and it just kept breaking it never quite worked right but Dan's amazing at you mean you give him an idea that's out there and he will always find a way of making it work perfect. So up here, if you pull these two books and you give it that click, you can open it up. You've got a 22 inch DVD TV 
on there. All my pots and pans and cutlery and food all goes behind that. Got a little Wi-Fi box in yellow down there and an Apple TV at the top. So you've got all the stuff behind, but it's all just hidden. So it's not all on show all the time. Um, moving on to the front, we've got a Jag bench seat I got out of a scrapyard. This thing is so comfy. One of the best mods I've done on the van just for cruising long distances. And then the dash, if I can get it to zoom in. Um, I put an oak top on it, so I cut the top off, put an oak top, and Dan again CNC cut low down transporters into it, which we filled with a, an illuminescent epoxy resin, so it glows in the dark, which looks awesome. Um, and then the centre of the dash, if you can see it, I've made it all myself, and I've got the stereo and everything set back with a USB and an auxiliary in there. And then, through that slot, the tablet goes down in front, so it covers all that up, and you can have the sat nav spotify you can run the whole stereo through it it's awesome you can put films on for ruby when we're driving it's a great little mod that was and then we've got my my boost gauge which is out of a 1940s uh plane for their superchargers um and it i painted it all brown it's actually hammer anti-rust paint it's the only brown i liked and then we've got a bit of the leather at the bottom of the doors to carry that on oh what i forgot to show you in the back is is the rag top which came out of a Citroen Berlingo, if you'd believe it. Um, I think it was their multi-space, I think it was called. I got it off a bloke that randomly came up to me at a show and said it'd look awesome in here. And I, I had been looking at T25 ones and stuff for a while, 20 quid later, uh, a few angles around the cuts and it was in. It's not leaked so far, but the, the plastic clips are starting to break and you, you can only buy it as a whole unit. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with it in the future. but. When we went to the Isle of Wight two years ago with Lowdown and we did a convoy around the island, we had a couple of mates hanging out the roof while we were driving. It was so cool. Got a good few few photos with that. And then, talked about the front. If we go around to the back, the first thing we built with the interior, hence the bed's so short, is the bar. Always got to have a bar. Always got to have somewhere to drink when you're at a show. Can't be rummaging around for beer. So we've got a pool tap there, which we put a keg on the roof rack. You got It was once upon a time sponsored by Jägermeister, so I used to get loads of boxes of stuff sent. No Jäger, unfortunately, but they give me big show bottles, doing mats, um, like the deer's heads, the, the pourers. We've got loads of stuff. We've still got about 2,000 shot glasses at home, but that is the bar. And when it gets dark at night, my amazing 90-year-old neighbour gave me this pre-war Lucas light which is ace it lights up bright yellow out the back so yeah beer has been spilt in there many a time that is definitely enough of me rambling on about my own van still don't feel too comfortable in front of this camera but I know time practice hopefully should get a little bit better if you like this feature and you think it would make a good mini series um, comment down below with some of the lowdown vans you'd like to see new and old we'd like to make it diverse see some of the old ratty bays split you know I mean, things i love and then the newer shiny t5s to t6.1s um, there's plenty of variety on lowdown if you head over to our facebook page facebook group you'll see all the vans on there and hopefully when lockdown's over we'll see you guys at some of the shows right that's me done cheers <laughs>